This is the Track and Field Report. This edition of Track and Field Report kicks off the spring marathon season with reports from Paris, Milan, Vienna, Rotterdam, and the 10 mile cherry blossom in Washington, D.C. It is clear the real spring season of marathoning has begun as the 39th edition of the Shenandoah Electric Paris Marathon got on the way on Sunday. The event, which attracted more than 41,000 runners to the heart of central Paris, is now Europe's largest marathon. The Champs-Élysées was the starting zone of the masses, which comprised of more than 40% overseas runners. But of course, the dominant imports of the event was a collection of East Africans from Kenya and Ethiopia. Of that group, 14 men have run 208 or faster. So unlike last year, when course record holder Kenesaw Bekele was clear favorite, this year's champion would be a surprise. The pace at halfway was 103.23, but the tempo steadily increased in the second half of the race as Mark Keegan took the lead, passing 35 kilometers in 144.18. But Keegan's fortunes would be short-lived as his 30-year-old compatriot Mark Career overtook him at 37 kilometers. As Career flowered, Keegan was left behind, paying for his mid-race surge with a fourth-place finish. Meanwhile, Career was riding a wave of cheer as his surge would go unmatched by the trailing pack. Career was on fire in the last kilometers as he compiled a comprehensive victory and a new awesome personal best of 205.49. Luca Conda finished second a long way back in 207.20. Final results find Mark Career of Kenya in 205.49, Luca Conda of Kenya also in 207.30, and Saboka Tola of Ethiopia in 207.33. The women's race featured a bit more drama in the closing moments, as Meseret Mengistu was able to pass compatriot Amen Gobina in the final 500 meters to establish a final margin of victory. Her winning time of 2.23.24 was a six-minute improvement of her previous best time. The spring marathon routes includes a stop in Milano, Italy, as more than 15,000 runners took part in the two main events on Sunday, the marathon and the popular relay marathon. Laila Sufian, Panno ed è Maratona. La Maratona di Milano è cominciata ancora per pochi giorni nel... Former marathon world record holder and two-time Olympic 10,000-meter champion Haile Gabriel Selassie ran on the first leg of the marathon relay, but it was another veteran, 41-year-old Kenneth Mungara of Kenya, who would challenge the ages. The nine men who made up the lead pack of pacemakers and contenders went through the first 10 kilometers in 30.24 and the halfway mark in 104.11. The two pacemakers clocked the 30 kilometers in 131.22, 10 seconds ahead of the real lead pack before dropping out and leaving the lead work to be decided amongst the real leading group. But it was the oldest man in the pack who provided the breakaway surge which led to the most surprising performance of the spring marathon opening weekend as Mungawa reigned supreme in the final kilometers. I couldn't imagine how good it must have felt for the 41-year-old Kenyan to be center the star attraction of the Corsi of Venezia in the center of Milan at this stage of his late starting career. Mungawa didn't even start running until he was 30 years old and is a definitive late bloomer. Since his mid-30s, he has won 10 of his marathon starts, but this one will remain special as he underlines this performance with a record book performance as being the fastest Masters of over 40-year-old marathon runner of all time. He crossed the line in a fantastic 2.08.44, shaving two seconds from Mexico's Andres Espinosa's 2003 Berlin Marathon former record. Second place, Sebring Kotu from Kenya also in 2.08.55. Kenneth Mungara from Kenya in 2.08.44, a new World Masters record.
The women's early race saw a leading trio of Ethiopians mixing it up with 2013 London and New York Marathon winner Priska Jeptu. They rolled through the first 10 kilometers in 33.52 and a swift halfway mark in 1.11.23. Jeptu then passed 30 kilometers in 1.41.53, leaving a gap of 10 seconds over Kenyan Lucy Karimi. But Jeptu dropped out just after 30 kilometers, stating that she was using Milan only as a tune up for the London Marathon. This left Karimi alone at first place with an advantage of 54 seconds over second place Ayelu Lima. Karima steadily increased her margin of supremacy over her second place Ethiopian rival to more than 2 minutes at 40 kilometers and went on to cross the finish line in 2.27.35. Lima finished second in 2.29.49, while Italy's 37-year-old Fatna Maui took third place and demolished her personal best by more than 3 minutes when she crossed the line in 2.33.16. Final results are Karimi with 2.27.35. Lima from Ethiopia and 229.49. And Marui, 233.16. Of all the first week spring marathons, perhaps Rotterdam is the most storied of races as it often produces incredibly fast times. The course is flat and weather conditions consistent as four of the ten fastest marathon runners ever have run their fastest times on the Rotterdam Marathon course. This year, as always, the 35th edition of the IAAF Gold Label Race was off to a super fast start. After passing 10 kilometers in 29.03, the tour pace continued. However, at 15 kilometers, the race director, Eric Bromer, asked the pacemakers to slow down a bit. Despite his direction, the leading group hit the half marathon point in a time of 1.02.04, with 10 athletes still in the pursuit pack. Just before the leaders had to cross the Erasmus Bridge at 25 kilometers, two of the pacemakers and one of the favorites, Jonathan Mayo of Kenya, dropped out. By 30 kilometers, the attrition was really kicking in as pre-rates favorites were dropping out as along with the final pacemakers leaving two Kenyans and three Ethiopians in the leading group. But this group of five was soon to lose two Ethiopians as Ken Kenyan Bernard Kowetch pushed the pace into a stiff headwind. But it was an Ethiopian, a Barakuma, who would provide the accelerated move that neither Koech or Kip2 could answer. Kuma would go on to win the 35th edition of the Rotterdam Marathon in a fantastic 2046. <laughs> The spring marathon circuit continues on to Vienna, Austria as the day's total of worldwide runners approaches the quarter million mark as more than 32,000 runners head out from the Vienna International Center on a 42-kilometer journey. At the halfway mark, which was passed in 103.07, there was only Ethiopian Sese Lemma, Kenyan debutant Suleiman Simotuo, and pacemaker David Kagai, also from Kenya. At shortly before the 27-kilometer mark, the Ethiopian surged ahead and Simotuo could not respond. The Kenyan rookie would pay dear for his first time marathon front running, but it was Lemon's day. Despite the heavy headwinds, he was able to win the 32nd Vienna City Marathon in 207.31, coming home more than four minutes clear of his nearest rival. Comprehensive victory indeed. There was a big surprise in a competitive women's race which saw the first five come home within 41 seconds of each other. Switzerland's Maya Noing Schwander broke away from a group of seven runners just before the 15 kilometer mark and won 13.35, running 34 seconds ahead of the chase pack that didn't even try to close the gap, leaving the 35 year old on her own for the last 10 kilometers. But the veteran who has a personal best of 2.29.42 proved vigilant and held on for the biggest win of her career in two hours, 30 minutes, nine seconds. Her win also marks the first Swiss winner in the history of the Vienna City Marathon. Washington DC is the stop for the 43rd edition of the Credit Union Cherry Blossom 10 Mile Run. This year, due to a traffic collision before the race, the race was rerouted, shaving seven-tenths of a mile off the original distance and making this the 9.3-mile classic. Regardless, an impressive field of East African ladies were on hand to start at the Washington Monument. 
The women's start preceded the men's by more than five minutes. As the lady sorted out the pace, it was clear less than a mile into the race that the Kenyan contingent of Mary Wasira, Cynthia Limo, and Lynette Chepkuri would control the temple of the day. By the final 400 meters, it was a breakaway duo of Wasira and Limo left to struggle for the ladies' grand prize. For a moment, it looked as though Limo would prevail. However, on this day, Wasera was always seen to have one more spot of speed than her rival. Wasera would finish victorious in 48.35, while Limo was awarded the same time but given second place. As a result, for Wasera, Kenya, 48.35, Limo also of Kenya, 48.35, and Bolton of Kenya from 49.20. On the men's side, it was Steven Samley who would continue his spring road dominance as he broke away from the pack around 35 minutes into the race and never looked back. Samley would take the win in 43-20, marking his eighth road victory since 2014. Seven seconds behind him in second place was American Jacob Riley in 43-28. Final result, Sambu from Kenya, 43-20, Riley, USA, 43-28, and Barno, also of Kenya, 43-30. And that's it for Track and Field Report this time. We'll see you soon.